Hey guys, Cindy Otter here with Marks and Devers. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty well. Um, today I am here with Art Joy of Sharing, and what we're going to do is we're going to do some mark making. So I've pulled out a few different things. These are the paints that I'm going to use. Okay, I've got a dragon fruit, teal, wild green, bright yellow, bright blue, uh, cranberry wine, and purple passion. So these I'm going to use. And then let me show you my little, um, that's not, that's a sponge, my mark making tools. All right, um, this is just, I don't know what it came out of, but I thought it was kind of cool. It's just a little styrofoam piece. I'll be using that. The end of a deodorant um, stick. Yes, it's been cleaned and washed and it's a nice mark making tool. Uh, top of one of something, maybe one of my hair products, I don't know. This little wooden stick, just a flat stick. Um, this, I can't remember where I got it from. I don't see any markings on it. But this little thing spins, and it's got these little, it looks dirty right now. It's got these little itty-bitty teeth on it, and I promise that's just paint. Uh, so I thought I'd use that. I think that looks cool. And this is just a plain old tin cookie cutter. I'll use that. This, I have no idea where it came from, how I got it. Just not sure. Um, I'm going to be using this. I don't know if I'll use it on the flat side or if I'll just use the rim. I don't know. I have a Seagram's um, uh, da -da -da -da, bottle top. Um, I put some double-sided tape on it so I could actually lift it up like this and then use it. Um, I don't know if it's going to work or not. We'll try it. Why not? These are just five little tube things that I just kind of masking taped together. Just a different, different. Um, this is an old, old inhaler case. Um, I haven't used this type of inhaler in a while. Mine's different now. Um, but yeah, so this is kind of cool. I've got this here and I've got this mark here. It's just fun to play with. This, um, actually I'm not going to use that piece. This is an old plastic piece that goes underneath the keyboards on the computers or laptops or whatever when they make them. Um, so I'm just, I want to try to make it with this thing on it. I might have to put a backing on it. I think I'll do that. I'll grab a piece of something and glue it down on it. So you'll probably see me do that. Um, just the round whatever. This is a checker piece. Um, what I'm going to do is it's got so many different ridges here, which I thought was kind of cool. So I'm going to try that. Maybe I'll do the outside and just kind of roll it. I don't know. We're going to play with it. This thing, I have no idea if it's going to work or not, but it has a bunch of lines on it. Can you see them? And then it's got this doo -doo 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 down the side, and then this side is just flat. So, yeah, I might use this, see how that works. Um, this is just a piece of mesh that I pulled out, which I thought was kind of cool. I'll use that. And then this mesh, um, I can't remember what it came off. I know it wasn't like a fruit or vegetable, so I, I can't remember. But it's more like a cloth mesh. But the thing about this is you can, you know, you can either shrink it. Or, you know, and have it kind of like this. Or you can actually pull it out and make these boxes funky. So we're just going to play with that and see what happens. All right, there's my three sponges. So I plan on taking all this stuff, and I've got a bunch of tags here that either I've done stuff with or I haven't done stuff with. Um, you know, they're, so they're partially done. Some are not done at all, you know. Um, I've got a few black ones in here. I want to play around. That's why I, I want to get some white. Um, like I said, just tags that haven't really had much done to them. Just a bunch of paint from a brayer. Um, and we're going to take and make marks on these. This one's kind of cool. It had a homemade stamp that I'd cut on it. But yeah, we're just going to take these and play around. Oh, here's one. This, see the little lines right here? I think that's what um, this cap does. So it doesn't really do a full like bottle top thing, but it does do, geez, I can't hold anything today. It does do these, just these funky little marks. This I think is from one of these. Yep. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and get set and get ready to play. Um, I am gonna add white and black to my colors and I'm just gonna play around. So let's get some mark making done. Have fun.
guys. So, yeah, I had fun playing with this mark making. Um, I tried to make it short and sweet, um, but I just had a lot of fun. I love just taking tags and doing this to them because you can build off these bases and you can just do, you know, it makes for great backgrounds. So that's why I use tags. I really enjoyed how some of them turned out. This one I think is really cool. And again, this was from, oh, it was an empty roll of something. Maybe tape, I can't remember. Um, some of them are, and eh, they're okay, but they needed to be added to like this one. Um, yeah, I'll be adding other colors into that and whatever when I actually decide to use the tag. Um, you know, like I said, some of them are okay. This one I didn't really want to do a lot to. I just added the blue circles to it. Uh, because I have a feeling I'm going to end up doing something in these circles, so I didn't really want to mess that one up. Um, this one's okay. Just, you know, odds and ends on it. Again, these are just backgrounds so that I can have fun when I start deciding to do tags again. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to have fun, especially when you're playing in art. That's what life's all about. We'll talk to you guys soon. Happy creating. Bye.